highly, how important is it to take time for self-care? Um, I think making sure you have time for yourself and you have time to um, take a breather every now and again. And, and when I say take a breather, I mean sometimes mentally because it can get frustrating, whether that be work or the pressures of um, everything that's happening in socially currently with um, around the pandemic. It can be, um, you know, it can be a stressful time. So taking that time to just unwind, read, I, th I think that's been a good thing for me lately. Um, as I say, speaking to people, um, all of those things that just help to um, de-stress um, and take pressure off yourself um, and sometimes just being mindful, just actually being quiet and doing nothing can help, um, whether that's doing nothing and watching TV or doing nothing and actually doing nothing, which is probably we don't tend to do enough and I think for young people they probably find that quite difficult, I know I certainly do, still do at times now but it can be a big help so um, these are those are things I would certainly recommend if you if you have got the opportunity just take some time to yourself listen to some music or just chill out. What do you do to keep self motivated when not training or playing? I've got children so I'm always busy running around after the kids which is great in a sense because I don't get much downtime and then um, really just try and stay active as much as much as possible in terms of you know mentally trying to keep myself stimulated I try and read um, that's a big help for me and also try and educate myself learn new things and that's been a real sort of um, it's been something I've really enjoyed doing over the course of the last sort of 12 months in particular I'm, I'm doing some coaching courses um, and that's been a big help big distraction I would say from some of the um, frustrations of being locked up at home or away from friends and family so that's been um, a real sort of nice distraction um, to keep me occupied. What's it like joining a new team for the first time and how is that similar joining a new school? So I know there'll be lots of people you know starting new schools currently um, which means new groups of friends, new social dynamics and um, trying to find their way through all of that which can be difficult at times. Um, I've been through it myself recently, having joined a new football club and you've got a new group of guys to get used to and sort of discover where you fit in and how you how you sort of yeah, how you fit in with that new puzzle of um, of characters and personalities and that's the same for lots and lots of people that are joining a new school, so it's not always easy to navigate that. Um, I would say the biggest piece of advice for anybody in that situation really is to just try and be yourself as much as possible because you know not being f false or not trying to be something you're not can help you be at ease with yourself and um, I think as a, as a byproduct others will be much much more at ease with you at the same time. Did you have any struggles at school that you had to overcome and what advice would you give to the students today? So I would say I was really lucky with my schooling. I absolutely loved school from day one to the day I left. I know that's not the case for everybody though so I do feel rather fortunate that that was the case. I had um, a good group of friends around me um, and supported network at home so that was really important for me to be able to have a nice journey through my schooling but of course as I mentioned that's not always the case so really I would say as in terms of advice I think try to speak to people where possible. I know school can be difficult for lots and lots of us and um, there's plenty of pressures that go, you know, come with being at school, the exams, the social aspect of school. Um, so really, you know, if there are things troubling you, I would just recommend that people try and find somebody that they can trust, whether that be a school member, a member of staff, or a friend. It may even be a parent or you know, a family member away from school, um, because you know, as I said, school does come with lots and lots of pressures. So it is vital that you're able to concentrate on your work and get your work done to a high standard because um, you know if you're not happy or if there are things going on away from away from school that are affecting you it can affect your work so um, yeah always try and speak to people and um, I would I would advise that because that will help to alleviate some of that pressure.